Uh, Stu Leonard Jr. joins us right now. Stu Leonard, CEO. Uh, very popular grocery store in the New York tri-state area, Connecticut, New Jersey, what have you. Uh, his customers are very savvy. It doesn't hurt that he, as a CEO, is pretty savvy trying to help them out. Stu, always good to see you. How, first off, are your are customers you doing with this and handling all of this? Well, I love what Madison just said, and um, that's exactly what all of us retailers are trying to do is make the retail store exciting for you to come into. Um, and, you know, we're doing all sorts of things, and not only free samples, which, by the way, for inflation reasons, try to stay away from eating the samples when they come through because we're trying to get you to buy more product, right? Um, and also, you know, having a list when you come in helps you tame that down, but we have like hay bale theaters at, at the store. We're showing movies here on the weekends. Um, we have a hay maze for the kids. We have a little haunted uh, drive through that you could drive through with your car in the parking lot. We have trick or treat events. We'll have over a thousand uh, uh, kids at each store come and we give candy out around the store. We're trying to create excitement on the retail level. Um, what are they doing, though? Obviously, you have a great store. You have a lot of attractions to keep them coming. But, you know, you always hear people, that are, I've gone from chicken to pork, and now I'm going to tofu. Yeah. And I don't know if they're making that final move. But uh, how are they adjusting? What are they doing? What do you notice? What trends do you see? You know, Neil, first of all, our family's been in the business, you know, 100 years now, but retailing 50. And, and it's like a perfect storm out there right now. What you're noticing, customers are meal planning around our specials that we have at Stu Leonard's. Hmm. So if we have, you know, if we have ground beef on sale, it's going to be uh, uh, hamburgers or meatloaf or something like that. Chicken, the same thing. We just actually lowered chicken prices a buck because the market's come down. Um, but you'll see more people doing maybe a uh, chicken farm at home type of thing. So they're starting to... They're smart. Customers are smart, and they're navigating around the specials right now in the store. Any early signs how they're preparing? Uh, you know, Thanksgiving is still a ways, but even when it comes to uh, Halloween or whether they're curtailing things or buying maybe store brands, what are you seeing? Not how do you like this baby right here? <laughs> okay. They've had a really good year, our pumpkin farmers. And, and, you know, one of the things we had to do was raise the price of our pumpkins two bucks, uh, up to $8 each, because my pumpkin farmer called me, said the cardboard bins that he uses, the price used to be 8 bucks, it went up to over 20 And he was telling me his labor cost went up 30%, his fuel for his tractors was up. If we want to buy the best, freshest stuff at Stu Leonard's, you got to pay the guy. You know, so um, you're seeing things like that happen in the market. Same with our dairy farmers, you know, and, and butter. And you see eggs are high right now. I think they're coming down. Hmm. Um, but there, there's a lot of high prices. And like I just saw in the news last night that they, they're not going to be harvesting any snow crabs out in Alaska. I, I can't remember in my last 50 years when I've heard something like that. Wow. So. There's, there's all these anomalies out in the market right now, the avian flu with the chicken and so forth. So we just have to navigate it. We are keeping our prices as low as we possibly can. Um, I wouldn't look good on Wall Street right now, Stu Leonard's, if we had to report our, our, our results out there. Um, our stock would not be going up right now because we're trying to keep our prices low. And we're sympathetic to our customers. And we're in it, like Madison said before, we're in it for the long term. You know, we think our customers will, will thank us for, you know, giving them really good product at the best price during these tough times right now. Well, apparently you're delivering the goods uh, and helping them deal with all of that. Thank you, Stu, very, very much. Yeah. Uh, Stu Leonard on all of that.